free. So it's impossible for someone to die and then come back alive. It's impossible. Forget the camera, forget the camera. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that. Why is this in Turkish? Look at that. It's translated. Why is it Turkish? I, I'll give you the translation. No, 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 it's fine. Here we go. Surah Al-Qa'ah. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Will we be returned to life when we are dead and reduced to dust? Such, is a re uh, such a return is impossible. I agree. So here's the thing. So what he's saying is, like, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when okay. he takes away someone, he can no, come no. back on this earth again. Will we be returned to life when we are dead? Yeah. So the condition here is that a person has to die. Yeah, but, right? but, but, so when the person is dead, then they do not return to this world, okay? Now the claim is not that Isa Islam died here. Okay. The claim is that he's still alive, he hasn't yet died. But where does it say in this verse that someone who does not die and go to heaven still can come back alive? Where does it say that? It doesn't mention that because... Exactly. So, no, but it mentions it in the verses of the crucifixion. When Allah says that he was neither killed nor crucified, but he was... And then you go to the next verse where it says, well, he raised him up to himself. Allah is making it very clear. Allah has raised up um, okay, so, Isa Alayhi to himself. Okay, there's another verse where it says, when every human being dies, we will be raised, we will be raised again. Yes. And, we'll be, uh, and so on. Yes. Now, does that mean when we are raised again, that our body will be there as well? Yes, we'll be returned to our bodies. So once we die, we will also be, be normal human beings, uh, normal uh, bodies. We will, be, we will turn back to our normal shapes. Yeah. So Allah will gather the gather gather us. Whatever the insects have eaten from our bodies and our bones, whatever is left, Allah will put all that together again and make us whole and stand for judgment. Where does it say this? This is Habibi. Okay, okay, okay. Habibi, look. As a Muslim, you believe? Do you believe in the six pillars of Iman? Yes, of course. Okay. So part of the six pillars of Iman is to believe in the in the afterlife that we're going to resurrect that we're going to be made whole again, stand judgment, right? So don't question these things, man. Don't question these things. Because Allah has the ability to do this. Remember, Allah is a supernatural. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, when we die, once we die, He will put us back into our own human body yes. shape and we'll come back to your life. We'll come back to life to stand to judgment. So what about the people that have lost their arms and legs? Or the ones that are disabled? Or the ones that are... Everything. Babies, what about babies? Babies. Babies don't get judged. They go straight to her, straight to Jannah, and they enter Jannah as, as as people who are 33. But would they also be back to the original? No, no. They have a, when they go into Jannah, you have a different body. It's a it's a better body. It's like you know you look better. So this is like, for example, the Hadith of Rasulullah when he mentions about the man who sees his wife in Jannah. He says he looks at her for 40 years, turns away, looks back. And he see and he and he stares at her for another forty years because of her beauty. She's more beautiful than Hor Ain, which can, which already tells us that the appearance of the person is grander in general, believe, more beautiful. Do you believe Allah is in the heavens? And the Allah is not in His creation. He's not in the creation. He's not in the creation. So why does it in the Quran says, so, uh, chapter forty two, mm -hmm. eighty four, eighty five, forty two. 42, chapter 42, Quran. Surah Al uh, Zukhruf. Yeah, Zukhruf. Yeah. Yeah, Zukhruf. Are you sure chapter 42? Because chapter, chapter 42 is a short arat. 43. Oh, for, oh, sorry, chapter 43, okay. 84, 85. 84, 85, yeah? Okay, so let's we'll go to 84. You won't be 84. Fine. So it is and, he and only oh, and he it is who who is Lord in the heavens and in, on the earth and he is the wise and all right. knowing. Five. So what is meant here is that Allah is the only God worthy of worship. Well, um, that's essentially what it means because some people have worshipped what's in the heavens. Some people worship what's on the earth. So Allah is saying, I am the only one to be worshipped. Whether it's in the heavens or the earth, I'm the only one in the world to, to worship. So saying, that is what he's saying. It's so a refutation of those who wor who so worship so the saying, stars, the planets. So you're saying that Jesus, I mean, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala cannot come into his creation. He cannot he's come not, into his he's creation. Not everywhere. He's only no. in the heavens. So he's limited. La. Allah has a place. No, uh, okay. Allah has no, a. Quite, Allah has thing. made it has made it clear to us where He is. He says He is upon. He is above His throne. 
and his throne is above all of creation. No, he says his throne. But no, he says, oh, okay, Astawa al al arsh. He is above his throne. Okay, there's also another verse regarding the death of Jesus. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It says in Surah, uh, Surah Al Imran, chapter 4. 4, yeah. No, chapter, chapter 3. 3. Yeah. Uh, one four four one four five. Hey, uh, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is only a messenger, where we, all messengers have passed away la. before him. Then he dies. Or, or la. He so There's many messengers. No, no, it doesn't say that. Is it all prophets? Okay, no? where does it say except for Jesus? Okay, five. Where does it in the Arabic? In the Arabic, in, 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 it doesn't say all. No, right? No, okay, okay. But if it does not say all, where does it say except for Jesus? It doesn't say that either. Right. Okay. However, you can't say that it means all because all, the word all is not in, in the Arabic at all, right? It just says al rusul Now, al rusul is a general term, right? It just means the messengers. That's it, so that's it. Uh, the, me uh, uh, the messengers have passed away before him. It is a general term. It doesn't mean all of them. So, the thing is, if you ask any person who is knowledgeable in the Arabic language and you say to him and you bring him this verse, and you say to him, does this mean all messengers? They will tell you no. No, they won't. No. An Ara uh, no, a person who's knowledgeable in the Arabic language will not tell you this. Yeah. No. I can tell you that uh, again, as a person who speaks Arabic, who knows the Arabic language. You can't, uh, that will not be the case. Okay, so what you else? believe that after Muhammad sallam, a messenger can come, but a messenger that is uh, among Muhammad sallam, among his umad, among his uh, so his look prophets, as I as I mentioned to you, him. as I mentioned to you, right, Isa salam, right, he will retain the title of of an of a, of a prophethood. However, when he returns, he will be a follower of the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So he will not he will not come. So when, uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that there's going to be, that he, uh, Rasul is Khatam al right? Or Khatam, sorry, Khatam al right? Um, anybody using any amplification without he, prior permission he is, uh, what do you call it, making it very clear that there is going to be no one sent with the message after him. No one sent with the message after him or because he is the last of the of the prophets, right? And like I said to you last time, look at the choice of words Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used. He could have said, uh, right? He could have said, but that would have made it very specific. So he said, uh, what do you call it? Sorry, al But he, instead of he said, Khatam al Nabiyin. And Nabiyin takes away anyone who claims prophethood, whether it's law bearing or non law bearing. And this is why we say that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed cannot be a prophet of God after Rasul because that ayah takes that away from him. Okay, so Do you agree? Do you agree? No, can I ask you a question? Yeah. So you're saying as a Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is not the Messiah, no. the awaited one. No. But there is no one else who claims that to, to be that Messiah. Also, if you see, there's only Hazrat many Mizzou, people have. Only, only has a Mr. Qulam Muhammad. After him, there's also Khilafat, which is established, and it's been established uh, all around in the none, world. In, that, it's not established around the world. All around the world. It's everywhere. not established around the world. Four, four it's established. Four it's established for a specific community. No, but we, we it's established. No, look. Look. We see, but we see. Only to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his teaching. Look. We find that the only way to be on the right and guided path is to follow a Messiah. No. No. Now, now, now one second, one second. Now, didn't say that. Muhammad said this. Now, now, to he didn't say that's the only way to, to find to, guidance. Okay, but according to Muhammad Salaam, where does it say follow the sect of uh, sorry, what was the sect of war was it following again? Sorry? With the Athri. With the Athri. Oh, yeah. So where does it say follow the with the Athri? Okay, what does Athar be the right in What does Athar come from? I don't know. You, you Five, okay. So the uh, so the word Athar comes from the speech of the companions. So we follow. So what what to, to identify as Athari means uh, we follow what the companions and the Tabi'een, the Tabi'een, the Tabi'een, the Tabi'een, and obviously the Rasul Islam have taught. So that is our possession, uh, position. So, and that is exactly what Rasul Islam said. He said Muslim. to follow. He said to follow my companions, right? Even in the later and, days. And 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 those who come after them, and those who come after them. So that's what he said. So he's actually so, and that's who we follow. This is who we identify as. So when you say to me, where does Rasul Islam claim to uh, or tell you to follow a particular group? 
that's where he says it. So when we identify as Atari or the people, you know, the, the, the group that I belong to, we say we are the Atari, this is where it comes from, the Athar of the of the Sahaba, right? Because we have the hadith of Rasul the author of the Sahaba. According to the Sunnah, according to the Prophet yes. from the Quran and Hadith. Yeah. He where, doesn't use the word where does, it, where does it prove? Yeah, where does it prove that your sect is a true sect? According to the hadith in the Quran. Look. How can we how can uh, you look, prove that? I have just said it. I've just said it. Right? You because you Rasul, the Sahabas. Yeah, the, uh, the Sahaba uh, where, Rasul where does, Sahaba where, the Sahaba the Tabi. Where in the Quran does it say? Uh, no, this is in the hadith. No, no, no. This is before. this is in the hadith. In the hadith, he says, "Follow, uh, follow me, my companions, and who the, who comes after them, and who comes after them." Do you, do you recognize the Khalifas? Of course, I do. Do you recognize them as yes. Khalifas? Yes. Yeah. Who do you take uh, with higher status, the Khalifat or the uh, Sahaba? The Sahaba were the Khalifa. Abu Bakr Sahabi, Umar Sahabi, Abu Uthman Sahabi. Ali Sahabi, yeah, radiallahu anhu in Jamia. These are Khalifas. Yeah, no, but yeah, but who from who? Take, who do you take as a higher no. status? The Khalifat as Abu Bakr as No, but the Khali Khalifa is a Khalifa the is the Khalifa is a position held by the Sahaba. They're synonymous. <coughs> I agree. Mm. I take my position as the Quran. Mm. We should yeah. have a Khalifa that we can yeah. go around. Now look, yeah, nothing, thing nothing. Look, look. Our Rasul Allah Subhanahu wa Taala Allah Subhanahu wa Taala also said in the Quran. Right to follow Allah, the Messenger, and those of authority among you. It doesn't mean it doesn't say that you have to always follow a Khalifa. It doesn't say that. If anything, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam even prophesied that after the Khalifa there will be kings, and then there will be other other sort uh, other sorts of leaders. Right? Yeah, but that was the back in the days. No, like he's he's talking about the future. He's prophesizing in the yeah, future. The future. He says after the Khalifa. No, but he's saying after the Khalifa there will be kings and stuff. Which so, he, but what did he always maintain? That you follow those who are guided among you. Right? Follow those who are guided and have authority among you. So you're saying it's better to follow the companions than to follow someone who claims to be the Messiah. Yes. And the Khilafah. Yes. So it's better to leave Khilafah than the Messiah out and follow the companions. Uh, someone who's claiming to be that which is not, yes, of course. Follow the Sahaba. Because to for someone, look, one of the reasons why people refer to Mirza Ghulam as the Dajjal is because, look, and it's not to, it's not because it's an insult. It's because it is a reality based upon what Rasul said. He said that I am the last of the NBA, right? He says, I'm the last one. And not only that, he says, there will be 30 people who come after me, right? And some of the hadith, they, 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 no, no, so there will be 30 people who come after me who claim prophethood and they are the jail, right? And there's also one that's truthful. Oh, and we know who he is, Isa. No, no, but we know who the, the truthful Messiah is. Yeah, but that is Isa. No, there will be no prophet. And that is Isa alayhi But the thing is, the only way to be rightly guided is to follow the Messiah. And who is and the Messiah? The who is the Messiah? We follow a Messiah. No, you follow a Messiah. Who is the Messiah? Because we follow uh, No, a Rasul alayhi salam. No, but if I... Okay. No, but if I... Higher, higher status, yeah, but higher but Muhammad. to understand no, no, the Quran. Muhammad, Muhammad. If I today claim to be the Messiah who's teaching you according according to the uh, the teaching of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi will you follow me? You, you'd have to show me a sign. Right. Okay. See, what are the signs? Okay. What are the signs according to the statements of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi about who the Messiah is and what the Messiah will do? One. I'm going to give you one. One is that he, when he comes, there will be the jar. Now we see on this earth. Who is the Dajjal, Dajjal according is, to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Dajjal is established on this No, no. Earth. Who is the Dajjal according he's a man to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He's a uh, Right. He will, so where uh, is this man today? Mislead people. What are the signs of the Dajjal's coming? But, what, what this about Dajjal story. Oh, no, no. What is what the other sign? No, no. The, the Dajjal story is not mentioned. Okay. What about the sign of the donkey? When the donkey is going to go from north to east, he's going to carry on passengers. He's going to, before he's, he's about to. Uh, uh, Take off. He will. He will announce that he's about to leave. Yeah. Uh, he will jump from north to east, south to west. He will travel on the land. He will tra travel on rivers. Yes. He will. He will cover uh, distances. Yeah. He will be on a donkey. Will, which will cover. Well, which will, yeah. Which is covered in months yeah. and so, but hours. this is right. So this is. So what about so all this is, no, right. So no, but the. Is that going to be a little donkey? It's no. Li no is it is. Donkey? It is. It's going to be a specific person who has a specific uh, abilities given to him by Allah to be the greatest fit. Now, this is what this is what Rasul is uh, so what about referring planes? to. What about planes? Uh, planes don't go that fast, man. What about uh, planes take ages? Huh? Cars. cars don't go that fast. 
Not in the speed that is mentioned in the hadith, right? The thing is, our Rasul was very clear. It has to be literal so we, that we can recognize it. What else is there a sign of the Dajjal? There's another. These well, no, no, no. What's the sign of the Dajjal? Another sign of the Dajjal when he comes, what will happen? Mis uh, deceiving. So no, 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 no. This is. Uh, I'm thinking about something. No, in terms of the day. How, what about Media, the day? Music. <coughs> la, la, la. No, uh, Rasul doesn't say this. How does it? No, Rasul is very specific as to how he will deceive. He will start to make the rain. He will start to make uh, things rain. Seen today, the, the, the rain. He will make a tree, a tree grow in a second. If you see in the UK, there are also people that have He will go to Mecca. Like, like, he, he will go to he will go to Mecca, and people will come out of Mecca. But what if he was the real Jesus? No, the real Jesus How comes to kill the Jesus. Because we see Kafir. Kafir is written upon his head. No, he has one eye. His one eye. Yeah, but uh, according to Quran, we don't have this story. That no, there, there this, will is, be, this uh, is in the hadith. Uh, this, is, gonna come. this is in the hadith. But that can be confusion for us. What no, it's, it's very Jesus? clear. It's very clear. Is Jesus? And does Jesus? Here, does Jesus? No, 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 no. Does Jesus? Does it? Uh, does it tell us that Jesus will have the word kafir? Of course. Not. Of course not. So we know who is going to. We see the Jal. He's going to have kafir. We're going to see Isa. He won't have kafir. We will know who the Messiah is because the Messiah will kill the Dajjal. We know the description of Isa alayhi salam. He will come down, his arms upon angels. Everything is told to us clearly and literally. There is no wiggle room for interpretation with regards to what will happen. So when the Qadian is... Muhammad, 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 come on. When the Qadian is in... Uh, use these ambiguous uh, ambiguous uh, interpretations they have no room for it because it is well, literal Islam and Adiyah, when we talk about the, the Islam we, we always talk through the Quran and the Hadiths the Islam Hadith first sources. The ha yeah and the Hadith so, tell you, know, you, the, you know, contrary the, to what you believe it yes it does our Quran we, every time we, we discuss we always discuss from the Holy Quran and the Hadiths no, that's what we always do. Hadith. Uh, the, thing so, with, the thing with your, uh, your sect is, is not. It does not follow the Hadith in the Holy Quran. Oh, it's, of course it does. It's going against the Quran. No, it does. See, the thing is, you would this have is to why bring... It's dangerous. But, no. Because also, Muhammad said, said there will be 73 different sects. Yes. And only one will be prayed. Yes. No? Yeah. Did it? And if we see within the Ummah, all the 72 sects, only you not, he, regard one sect to be without the uh, with, uh, He also Islam. said that the... Sorry, union, I don't think this hadith is... He also said it is. It will be divided in 72 religions. I, I'm it is. Gonna, it's sahih. I don't want to put myself in a religion. There were 72... No, 73. Out of 73 will go to one, fire and one... We'll go, we'll yeah, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that, no. that all of them are going to be in hellfire yeah. for eternity. No. Going to it doesn't mean for eternity. Some means, of them will be for eternity. No. Some of them will be punished for a while. It's going to be the teachings. The teachings, so, okay. yeah. So how do we know which one is the right one? Yeah, the teachings will change. Because yeah. The one that follows Messiah. No, the teachings will change. We'll follow Messiah. And, Messiah. But look, your he teachings. Are, Messiah, no, your true. teachings have changed. According to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad also said there'll be a time when within the mosque, the worst is preached. The only name that will remain is. Uh, Islam, but the uh, actions, the understanding of the Sah. Quran and the Hadith will not remain. And he said the worst people will be the ones that are inside the mosque, the the Mulvis, the, the, the scholars, yes, the scholars, yes, one hundred percent. Okay, the Mulvis, you know, yeah. that's what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Yes, I agree. So that's what you're doing. You're following them. No, I'm following. I'm following, I'm following, following the Quran, are, the Hadith, you are the following, uh, your, uh, the, uh, the Sahaba. Well, we follow a Khalifa. Who does not abide? Look, first and foremost, okay, he does not Quran. abide. He does not abide by the Quran and the Sunnah whatsoever. How can? How, how do we? Have okay, first of first and foremost, okay. What proof have, do you have? I have from the Quran here. Look. Okay, fine. I'll show you that. Give me one proof that he goes to the Quran. No, no, no. But he doesn't know Arabic. He, that we shouldn't really follow. Uh, yeah. Can you recite the Quran in Arabic, by the way? Yeah, I can. Okay, alhamdulillah. Um, so, what is the proof that you um, that you don't follow the truth? Okay, I can no, say. No, my question to you is, no. according to you. Yes, yeah, so according to me. What is it that Hazrat Muzaffarullah Muhammad, okay. or the, the, may Allah be pleased with him, or the Khalifa al Masih Khamis, the Al Khalifa? What is it with the teaching that they give that is not okay? Well, I'm not. Is, uh, I'm going to go back to well, I'm going to go back to Mirza Ghulam because Mirza Ghulam is the source of your religion, okay? And Mirza Ghulam is the reform and he's the one who's uh, well, he's the yeah, source, yeah, yes, he's yeah, the source yeah. of your religion, okay? No, 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 I want uh, you know, obviously, you believe him as a reformer, Mujaddid, whatnot. 
that's not the case, okay? Now, he's, first of all, he's made prophecies which failed. That already disqualifies him, okay? Like I said to you, I don't know if you've seen my live stream about, the, about his age prophecy. Who, who is he? Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, he's their, he's their founder, okay? Now, he was truthful. Now, subhanAllah, look at this, right? He was truthful about his age, okay? Yet, his prophecy still failed because he said that he was going to live between 75 and 80. He died before that, right? He died before that. He died before that. He was born in 1939, right? When, and, uh, uh, sorry, 18, 1839. Died in 1906. No, 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 no. 1908. Uh, 19, oh, sorry, 19... Oh, no, 1908. Yeah, my bad. Okay, my, 1908 he died. Yes. He was born in 19... 1835. No, 1840. No, no. Read 19... his books. Read his books. Right? He says 1840. Well, you're trying to tell me what I, I Yes, I am trying to tell you because I've Stop done the research. It. I'm not changing you it. Keep changing but, it. Look, Stop changing it. I'm not. Azami Zogla Muhammad was born in 1835. You know, this is what the Qadiani, no, the Qadianis claim he was born in 1835, okay? He claims for himself that he was born in 1839 or 1840, okay? That's what he claims for himself. I'm not interested in what the Qadianis claim about him. You guys claim for him that he was born in 1835. He himself does not say that about his own age. He states that he was born in 1839 or 1840. And he actually updates us on how old he is when he does certain writings. He tells us how old he is. All right. I know your books. Just because uh, I know your books. Okay. And that's why, like I said, have you seen my live stream? I told you about my live stream. Have you seen it? So about the thing? Was born in 13, 13, no, he was, he, was born in, he was born in 1839 or 1840. Okay. Search it, look for it, look for his own words. Look for his own words. If you can show me, actually, I'm gonna come next month, right? Sometime in the first week or two, right? If you're, if you're a regular, inshallah, we'll meet. But if you believe he's born in 1835, then this is my challenge to you. Bring me one, just one source, where he states it himself, that he was born in 1835. Is that a deal? Is that a deal? Habibi, is that a deal? Yeah, that's a deal. alhamdulillah. My question to you is, when were you born? 1991. 1991. Show me anywhere that you, when you was born, when you was born, yeah. that you knew that you was born in 19, uh, 1980. Well, look, of course we know because we got birth certificate. Our parents tell us when. There you go. Likewise. There you go. No, no. Same with but no, no, not with no, not with people that have uh, that came after hundreds of years oh, after so you him. See all this, you, also, you see all these scriptures which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has made of Azim Zulam Muhammad. You also see what scriptures? Like there are no scriptures. Photos. Like his, um, when he was born, like if you see his photos, underneath his photos, it says Hazrat Muhammad Allah Muhammad, the coming, the Messiah, yeah. the coming Messiah, the Imam Mahdi, yeah. and also he's got his, uh, the time he was born from where he died, it says 1835. Yeah, who wrote that? No, who wrote that? So these, all of these old people, It's not, no, it's not in here, it's not primary documentation, it's not primary documentation. There's also, uh, there's also books. It's not primary documentation, uh, this is came after. Uh, bio, uh, uh, so many different yeah, biographies. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the so point so here is Mirza Ghulam. Mirza Ghulam. Mirza Ghulam. What do you call it? Uh, it says that's not true. Mirza Ghulam himself says it's not true. All right. But like I said, prophecies. No, I'm not. Paying. Look, research it. Research it. Okay. Um, like I said to you, you come back with me uh, to me with a source from Mirza Ghulam himself because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I have read his books. Yeah, you see where he's born. It's not, it's not 1835. The pages, first pages, it's not 1835. The first couple of pages, first couple of pages, uh, first couple of pages is editor's notes, right? It's publisher's notes. It's not him. Okay. No, so for example, he made a prophecy where he would die between the say, ages of 75 and 80. So he's a, he, he's a prophet? So, so yeah, he, so he was trying to say that he was a prophet, right? That came off of Rasul. So he made a, one of the prophecies that he made was that he was going to die between the ages of 75 and 80. Yeah. All right? Except he died beforehand. Now because before now because he be, because he died beforehand, let me just uh, answer him. Because he died beforehand, what happened is the Qadianis later on, the Qadianis later on realized that this is a problem. So they shifted back his date of birth earlier by 5 years so it meets the prophecy. Wallah Habibi, go and search it. No, you're lying, I'm not. I'm not. But anyway, you can say you can say you, you can say it's a lie, but 
Yeah. Anyway, go back to the main book, look, the Quran. like I said to you, how do we get back to the Quran? What do you mean, how do we, how do we understand the Quran? By how our Rasul said it, how the Sahaba understood it. What do you mean, Rasul is to follow the Quran? No, where does he say that? Where does he say that? Where does he say that in, in like a... Uh, where does he say follow the uh, mur the Murabis in, or the Mulvis are sitting in the mosque? Where does he say that? Does he say to follow the scholars? Yes. Where does he say that? Well, not... Uh, he does. He says, uh, 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 sorry, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if anything... Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to follow the scholars. He did not say at the later times. He only said after. No, 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 no. He said, those of authority after among you. Allah. Those of authority Allah. among you. Allah. This includes the scholars. Yeah, the people, what has those, the people who have authority among so us. Do these, do these have the scholars, look. The, sco the scholars. At this time, yes. No. Because there is no khal uh, Khalifa. There is no Khalifa now. Right? What you have is not a Khalifa. What you have is not a Khalifa. No. When you have when you have a leader of a specific group, you can't say it's Khalifa. A Khalifa is someone who governs an entire. Uh, what do you call it? Which he does. No. He does. He he governs a community. No. It's still it's still a single community. No. A Khalifa governs the country. He does. No. The, your Khalifa the, the, is under the, the, the your Khalifa is under the influence of the British and the, uh, okay, and the Canadians. Okay, so why is it that we only have one Do, Khalifa? Right, does only your Khalifa does your Khalifa brother. have his own country? Own country. Has he has he got his own country? Your Khalifa. He has his own nation. No. He has his own community. No. He has his own, has his own community. Ummah, exactly. That's Umma, what you okay. Said. No, his own Ummah. No, this is a Khalifa, is someone who governs the state. Umar as well. No, a state. There is a, there are specific. There are no, no. It's not the same thing. A state contains people who are not part of the religion. Okay. The when uh, the the four khali, uh, the four uh, Khalifas of of Islam, well, they ruled over uh, Muslims and non-Muslims. Okay. So, okay. Uh, okay. So, so you follow. So you, hold on a second. You you, you, you <clears throat> fall under the banner of Sunni. Yes, of course. Right? Yeah. So why is the Sunni the all divided? Uh, well, you already why is that you, you you've you already no you've already quoted the hadith as to why because there will be 73 sects there will be yes there exactly. will, there is Islam differences is not divided. Uh, it is one. please do not tell me that because Islam you have the Qadianis, you have the Qadianis, you have the Lahoris. there is a different no they're not finished <laughs> there is a there is a minority that's still so they haven't finished the but point. the Lahoris accepted the messiah no as what metaphorical no no no, no metaphorical come on but the only look, thing that they do not accept Habibi, for you to say to me and that the, the, the for you look for you to say to me that Islam the, the Islam Ahmadiyya was un, is united la it is absolutely not because you've yes. admitted to the existence of the Lahoris okay. you, that is a split can you can you accept that is Sunni, a split can you say can you accept that Sunnis are all divided I, of course I, 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 I the Sunnis are divided you have the people who who believe in certain things that are contrary to other people right there are sects uh, amongst the Sunnis right this is not proof against this is not proof against islam this is a uh, this is how can i be truthful can because be i provide my evidences from what the quran from the quran and the sunnah everything that you have said is not from the quran that's exactly from the quran and the sunnah and the sunnah. yes it is it is you are not because you are not aware hold on habibi habibi if you are not aware of the hadith it doesn't mean they don't exist it doesn't mean they're not uh, sahih Stop saying that I'm lying and go and research. Go and s look back on the video. Look back on the video. Pause. Look back on the video. Pause where I'm speaking and go and see whether I'm telling the truth. And then come back to me later and say, Muhammad, this is what you said. This is the hadith that you were talking about. It's either da'if or it's not. It doesn't exist and so on and so forth. Right? Do that. But don't stand here and say I'm lying. When you're saying that Jesus no. was risen up alive, he did not die. Yes, this is in the Quran. Quran it says that Jesus in the right? we in the but he did not die no, in the cross. No. He okay. was saved from the cross. Yeah. But you're saying he was risen up alive. Yeah, oh, it says in the Quran. In the Quran, does it say he was risen up alive? Yeah. In the Quran, yeah. you don't even believe that Jesus was already on the cross. Of course not, because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wa ma salabuhu, wa ma salabuhu." The action of being put on the cross was never done. So, well, I can so how can you yes. go? So how you go? So how you going to, with, with the Quran, the teaching of the Quran, when you don't even believe that he was on the cross? Because that's what the Quran says. says. This is what the Quran says. He was not crucified. He was not put on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. It, is, it is difficult to, to understand this one, but Walakin, um, he said, but. Walakin should be held on, but he made to appear. Yeah. So he appeared that he was on. He was there. But uh, right? from what I know, I need to. And, uh, and like I said. Just say one thing. 
God said, do not follow any imam, any khalifa according to the Quran. That's not true. Only follow the Quran. I no, have that's a four not what he said. From the Quran. That's not, not true. In Arabic, that's not true. I have a four ayah from the Quran. That's not true because I just said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, what do you call it? Follow Allah, the uh, the messenger, and those of authority among you. Ati'u Allah. Ati'u Allah wa ati'u Rasul. Obey. He does not say follow, first of all, in Arabic. Ati'u Allah. Allah. Obey Allah and yeah. obey the messenger. Obey yeah. the messenger. Not obey the prophet. Okay. Not obey Muhammad. Obey no, wait, the wait, messenger, which means no. obey the message, which is the Quran. Hold on, hold on. Let me bring the verse. So, because obviously. And Muhammad, he said, he said, said messengers as well. No. Is the messenger, yes. yes. Yeah, but he never said Muhammad or the Prophet. He said, messengers. obey the messengers, yes. which means the message that God gives to messengers. Muhammad. Messen no, messengers. Messenger, messenger. Messenger without S. Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, he's among them. Also, Hazrat Muhammad is a Muhammad. The second coming, he's also one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, okay. So, uh, يا أيها الذين آمنوا أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم. so Allah actually says to obey those in authority among you. so أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول. yeah yeah أيها الذين آمنوا أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم. فإن تنازعتم في شيء فردوا إلى الله ورسوله إن كنتم ورسوله yeah فإن yeah. Okay, now if the Rus if the Prophet Muhammad is not here now, everyone is yeah, but this died, is then we go back to the Quran. To the Quran. Go back to the to no, God but to and, to and, and, and to, to, the, to, to the messenger. Here. Yes, but he never said obey God and obey Muhammad or obey the or obey the Prophet. He said obey the messenger. The messenger, which means uh, obey. Him. Yes, but there, you, do you know the difference between Muhammad and the Prophet and the messenger? Because there is some ayahs in the Quran yeah, God said, oh, we, Muhammad. We know who this is talking about. Okay, if you don't know the difference, there no. is a difference no, between we, Muhammad and Prophet and, and Muhammad the is the name. All right, there's a difference between Prophet and Messenger. Yes. What's the difference? Okay. Because there so, is uh, no, other ayahs Rasul, in the Quran. God uh, uh, said, Rasul, oh, Muhammad, uh, no, or the Prophet. Rasul is someone who comes with his own Sharia. A Nabi, uh, what do you call it? A Nabi, yes. A Nabi comes uh, with the same message of Tawheed, but follows a sharia that came before him. So for example, we have Musa alayhi salam, he is a Rasul, but Harun, he's Nabi, because he followed the sharia of, uh, of Musa alayhi salam. And that's, let's say, this is why Isa alayhi salam is a Rasul, because he came with the sharia. A Rasul, the akhi. difference between, for example, uh, Solomon and, uh, and Musa. Uh, yeah. Uh, Solomon. Is he a Rasul or a Nabi? Uh, who a Nabi. Hi, why? Because he didn't have a book. Uh, yeah. have okay. So, Musa, he had a book. He right. had a, so, had a book from so, but the book yeah, did not a, spot. A no, but the book has the Sharia within it. So I'm not incorrect. I just didn't, men didn't mention the book part, right? So the the book contains uh, the Sharia. I'll tell you how I explain. Muhammad is the man who first born, born and he died at the age of 62. This is Muhammad. Oh. But he he's is a, a Rasul. He's a Rasul and he a Nabi. Not, he's not Muhammad and a Rasul Nabi now. Yes, he, he is a prophet. No, I, I uh, yes. Wait, he's, a, he's he become the messenger of God at the age of forty until the age of sixty-three. Yo. Now his name is a messenger. One second. Okay. Come. What? Where were we? What sect? Huh? What sect? Yeah, with the Sunnis. What sect? Athari. Athari. Min al Athar. Athari. You follow me now for your book? Set is what you said. But you said you follow the Wahhabis. Wahhabi, Wahhabi is just an insult of people uh, to people who follow Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, and his belief was Athari. Same people. He was from the people of Athar. Um, the word Sunnah. How do you? The Sunnah is the tradition. We know Sunnah is tradition. Yeah, the tradition. The tradition. So the word Sunnah. Sunnah is tradition. Okay, but what I'm saying is why is not mentioned Sunnah al Rasul in the Quran? It's not really mentioned. Give me an answer. What? The word Sunnah, okay. Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not really mentioned in the Quran. The word Sunnah and Quran mean Sunnah to Allah Fil-Ladin Khalim Al-Qabil wa Sunnah to the Walad Ismi Salat Al-Qabil and another one meaning. Wa Sunnah to Allah. Yeah, Sunnah to Allah. The thing is, when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says to follow Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 
course, of course we follow. I'm not then why are we following? What are we following? The Sunnah of Rasulullah because it was his tradition. Yes, but so it's by default. It's, with the, with no, Habibi, just because it doesn't say explicitly to follow the Sunnah. Come on, this is this is not an argument. This is not an argument. It, it, You're better than that. It can, it can, yes, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not denying Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu Then you don't deny that he has got a Sunnah that we have to follow to. Sunnah Rasul equal to the Quran. La, la. When you put no, 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 no. the Quran and Sunnah together equally, why? Then it becomes why do we put it together? Because the Sunnah of Rasul it's also revelation. Revelation but, from God. Yeah, but separate to the Quran. Show me in the Quran. Huh? That is a revelation. So when uh, when Rasulullah is doing things, do you think he's doing them out on his own? There is things he do by his own. As uh, no, no, as anything Muhammad, dini, anything dini, anything related to the deen. As of the religion. Yeah, as of the religion. By his own. On his own. Yeah, I'll tell you when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says he doesn't do anything on his own. All right. And when when he, when he made a mistake, can you give me an answer? What does that mean? Was it from him? When God said to him, "Why did you tell your wife?" Uh, you know. Yes, story? but that was, was from, that him. from him. Yeah. Or from uh, uh, was that was from him. God? But it was so that's no. Me, that's him. No, but see, but uh, the dean when the dean uh, when the revelation comes. Halas, end of story. He doesn't do it. Anything to do with the deen, anything to come to do with revelation, he doesn't do on his own. Yes, as a as a messenger. Five. So so everything he did, his sunnah is yeah, based upon that revelation. That Lala, does that mean that five, this of is course. as a messenger? When he done these small mistakes, Habibi. he done it as a Muhammad. As a man, his name is Muhammad, he done small mistake, as every single prophet done mistake. Of course. Apart from Jesus, we know Jesus did not make a mistake. But uh, this one tell you the difference between the prophet messenger. No, 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 no. The title of Muhammad. The, the man is the messenger. The man is the messenger. Yeah, but it's different. No. Okay. If I'm a president now and I have a messenger, so I give him a letter. Is he are you the messenger, yeah, of me? I'm a president. No, there's a difference. Are you able to change this letter? Are you able, are you allowed to change or add any letter to what this? Is it? Say, say that again, say that again. I'm a president of a country yeah. and you are my messenger. Uh -huh. yeah? Can I, I change it? No. And I give it. You cannot change no. it. Yeah. That's yeah, what I'm saying not. now. Here you're not able to do, to do any mistake as a messenger. And this is what Muhammad, this is the Quran God gave it to him. Now you want to give this message to the people. When you give it to them, people will ask you, how can I we do with this messenger? With this message, you explain to them how to do it as a prophet. You explain to them it's the best way to do it. Right, in your own way as a prophet. No, no, no. There's no, no, difference no, no. between so, a prophet and, uh, no, and the messenger. No, no. <coughs> I said, uh, Rasul he was. Uh, uh, he was uh, a messenger and a prophet, okay? When uh, a person. A per right, so that's what I'm saying. I, yeah, I don't, I don't see what you're getting at. We can see clearly. No, but the, the thing Quran, is, but they are both. There is some message God say to Muhammad, Look, oh, the prophet, the why had, did you forbid? No. Why didn't he say the messenger? No, no. So huh? that's what I'm saying. There is difference between the messenger and the prophet. God no. talked to Muhammad in different times in the Quran. One time he said, him, oh, prophet. And another time he said, oh, messenger. Do you agree with me or not? Yes, yes. So different so titles. Yeah, yeah, so to, to elevate him. No, there is a reason. Oh, yes, the, the reason is to yeah. elevate him. So I, I, no, I no, guarantee no, no. you, when, uh, he, when he made the mistake, he always tell him, oh, prophet. He never told you, oh, messenger. La, always say, la, 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 oh, la, the prophet. La, la. Why did you for, for No, no, no. So, for example, when uh, Rasul was um, upset after. Uh, Where's the. Jahal and Nisa'ahu. No, no, no. No, no, no. There was a specific situation, and Allah refers to him as uh, as old prophet to uh, to give him uh, to calm him to soothe him. But I can't remember it now, off the top of my head. I can't remember the situation, so I'm not going to even uh, try. Inshallah, uh, if I, I remember. I, I know which one, but yeah. I, I'm just so. You so this is what I'm saying. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala refers to Rasul uh, Salam as uh rasul or nabi not necessarily when he's correcting him but also to soothe him so you need you need to actually look at in each instance anyway, but anyway i don't know what is, what is yeah what is the obey point? god and obey the messenger and those um, and those in authority obey among him you. with the quran we cannot uh, yeah and those in authority among you providing obviously providing that that it goes back to Allah and his messenger. So this is why it goes on. The ayah goes on to say, if you defer in anything, then go back to Allah and his messenger. So, and his messenger. so those people in authority among you, if you, if there is a difference of opinion between them, or you're not too sure, then go back, see if they, what they're saying aligns with the Quran and the, and uh, the hadith. Okay, but as Allah, know, there so simple. many, yeah, but look, Imam and Sharia, nobody knows that. Well, I think as a layman, as, lay, said we as layman, we are not accountable 
or what the Mashaikh tell us. If they misguide us, then the, 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 the sin is on them. We are about laymen, but we have our own intellect as well. So if, a, if, a, if, a, if we have a sheikh that comes across and say, by the way, you can worship a cow now, just because he's an imam 